How is everybody? My name is Kelly and today I will be showing you how I like to make my um, oyster stew. So as you see here, I have two pints of Willow Point oysters. They're already shucked. Um, I brought them from um, Kroger and they are $9.99 a, uh, a piece for, you know, each pint. Um, I love these oysters because of the size and the thickness that they have. So I'm going to use this. I already rinsed them and have them in a the colander. And I have half an onion and one stalk of celery um, already diced up. So we're going to be using this also. And turn my pot down well excuse me I'm gonna turn it up to about a nine and I don't use the exact measurements so if you're looking for exact measurements sorry about that but I will give you the ingredients that I will be using all right right here we have some butter and it looks crazy because my daughter decided to Stick her little fingers in it. I like a lot of butter in my oysters, so. Alright. This is how much butter I'm using. This is the size of the spoon. This is the butter. Hold on one second. Alright. So we got the butter in here. We're going to let that melt down a little bit. Um, and I'll come right back and we're going to add in the onions and the celery. All right. So I added the onions and the celery mix. And we got a sauteing in here. Sauteing in the butter. Coming along very good. Um, you see the onions are getting turning opaque I think that's how you pronounce it uh, opaque in color the celery is still quite green we're gonna let it cook for about three more minutes and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cover the pot uh, with the lid let it cook about three more minutes so that celery can cook a little bit and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add in the oysters so y'all stay tuned all right, it's been cooking for a few minutes now. Smelling oh so good. Here's the color of it right now. And now we're about to add in the oysters. Like again, I said we're gonna add in two pints of oysters. Mmm, look at these big jokers. Right. and what we're going to do is cook these until they start to curl and what I mean by that let me get one you see what that black line is going across the oyster well, that's going to start to curl up as it gets done and the um, the fatty part like it's going to start to plumping up Will be nice and juicy. Now a lot of people cook their oysters differently. Um, a lot of people fry them. Some people eat it shucked. Well, not shucked, but uh, well they shuck it and you know eat it from the um, eat it from the shell. I like to eat mine with milk. I my yep, and that's my daughter talking. She too likes oysters. But I think she prefers crab legs more. My grandma loves oysters too, but I love Granny's oysters. You love Granny's oysters? I love them. Okay. Let's eat it. Alrighty. Alright. Go eat your food. Yeah, that's my little three year old. She loves seafood. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah. But anyway, I like to eat mine um, with milk. I also like to do a variation um, where I make sort of like a bouillon base, but I don't add all the um, like the fish head and everything like that. But I uh, use tomato soup, I believe it is, or yeah, tomato soup from like a can of uh, Campbell's tomato soup and add it to it instead of adding the milk. And it comes out just as nice. And they're starting to curl a little bit. Um, as you can see, let's see, I can get it. This oyster is starting to curl. But not only do I want it to curl, I like like these to plumping up. I don't like it to be too soft when I chew them. Um, right about now, right about now, I'm gonna start adding my seasonings. Like I said, I don't have a um, an exact measurement, but I will give you the seasonings that I add. First, first that I add is the accent. Pour some of that in there. Not too much because we don't want it to overpower the flavor of the oysters. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of the Chesapeake Bay style seasoning. And when I do, is add a little bit and then I can go back and add more if needed. Ooh, this smells so good. Alrighty, next I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic powder. If you have the actual cloves of garlic, that's fine too, but I like to add in the powder. And last but not least, a little bit of brown black pepper and we're just going to stir this up one more time you see all the oysters are really really curling right now oh my gosh the seasoning smells so good all right now i am going to add in some milk some people use half and half some people use heavy cream i'm just going to add in some whole milk I really don't know how much milk this is. Buddy, I Add that in. Pepper. You see the butter forming on top. And what I'm going to do is turn this down from high to medium heat. Because I don't want it to boil over. And I don't want the bottom of the pan to scald. So I'm just gonna push them back and forth in the milk to have an even distribution of heat. And you can stir if you like, but I'm just um, basically getting the milk to sway back and forth. And if you can see a little bit, there's some steam rising from the milk that means that the milk is heating up mm -hmm. at this point i'm going to taste the milk to see if i need to add any more um seasonings mm -mm. it is so good and the milk is Warm, but it's not hot like I like it. Would you want you want some? You want to taste some? It's not hot. Mm, nope. Nope. <laughs> Once it gets to a point of um, the milk gets hot enough to the point that you you know like to eat it, 
then you, you can put it either off or to low heat. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. The pepper is in my nose and having me sneeze. All right, I'm gonna taste the milk one more time to see if it's at the right temperature that I like it. Is it ever yet at the stove? It's actually at the perfect temperature. It's actually the perfect Not too hot. Not too cold. And slightly over warm. So I'm gonna put this on low heat. I'm not gonna turn it off because I might come back for more than one. And we'll be right back in the gym. Now this is our final project. The final result of oysters. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit of oyster crackers. I don't like too many of them. So. I actually prefer regular saltine crackers over oyster crackers because they enhance the flavor. But that's neither here nor there. But here you go. This is Kelly's Oyster Stew. I hope you all enjoy it. Bye-bye.